Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you the new launch options for data action. So I'm in the authoring mode of a workbook. Let's open up the workbook properties and open the data actions dialog. A new configuration option called as open in has been added to the product feature. This now enables the author to define the launch option of a data action. So as a consumer user, when you invoke a data action, the data action by default today opens up as a new tab of the same browser. But now the author can specifically say if the data action can be opened up as a pop-up dialog or replace the existing tab with the new data actions tab or open the data actions tab as the new tab of the browser. When you set it to auto, it's going to use the current behavior of always opening up the new tab of the browser when invoking the data action. Now let's go ahead and open the workbook in a consumer mode and try out the three different options that we've added to the product. So in the consumer mode, I'm going to apply some filters, maybe just check for a specific shift mode and critical and high priority orders. And uh, the data gets filtered on my source workbook. So let me select a mark, right click to uh, see the data actions. I'm going to invoke the data action um, for real to details that will open up as a pop-up dialog. When I do that, all of the context based on my data action configuration. In this case, I've decided to pass all of the parameter filter context to the target uh, canvas and workbook. And you can see that the target canvas now opens up as a modal dialog on top of the source workbook. And uh, it has passed all of the filter context to the target canvas. All of the right click context menu actions to drill, keep, remove, selected, again, based on the properties that the author of the target workbook has set in present will be available for consumer user to interact and slice and dice the data. Now let's try out the other two options to launch the data actions. Before I do that, let me uh, get out of the full screen mode. And uh, I'm gonna right click on the same mark and invoke the data action and open it up as a new tab of the same browser. When I do that, you can see that the target canvas is launched as a new tab of the browser with all of the filter context uh, passed to this canvas. Now let's review the last option, which is to open the data actions in the same tab. So when I invoke the data action, notice that the current canvas is replaced with the target canvas of the target workbook and all of the data action configurations such as parameters, filters is now passed to this target canvas. The author of the target canvas has decided to hide the header bar and filter bar. All of the present configurations on the target workbook will be honored Thank you for watching this video.